Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you do not know, my name is Ollie and welcome to my channel if you're new. And welcome back if you're already subscribed. Hi, how are you? So, as I'm sure you're aware, if you're from the UK, I don't know about everywhere else in the world, but the UK, we're on lockdown for our third time. And I've had a lot of DMs and things about how am I staying active, how am I staying positive, things like that throughout lockdown. So I thought, why not kind of compact everything that I'm doing into a video and just put it out there so then anyone who's feeling stuck or in like a rut throughout lockdown can watch this and be like, hey, I'm going to try that hopefully feel better kind of vibe. basically today's video is just a list of things that i'm doing to get me through lockdown to keep me busy to keep me active to keep me positive and happy so let's just jump into the video obviously you don't have to do all of them you could do one you could do three you could do whatever you want you'd have to do any of them if they don't apply to you but like if any resonate to you just try it out if you're feeling stuck in lockdown and i bet you'll feel better also none of these are they're not in like a particular order it's just the order i wrote them down it's not in like an order of importance if you know what i mean so number one okay which i think is quite crucial but number one is to like stay in a good routine because obviously when we're not in lockdown if whether you're at school college work whatever you normally wake up you do whatever it is you're at whatever stage of life you're at you go to that you do it for the day you come home, you might do some more work, you might have dinner, I mean you're like, don't worry about some routine. It's like now we're in lockdown, if you're furloughed or school's closed or whatever, it's quite easy just to wake up at noon, lie in bed all day. Do you know what I mean? And I think when you get into that kind of routine, it's not very really healthy, it's not very really good for you, your mind isn't doing what it needs to do, your body's not moving as much. So just try and stay in like a good routine where you're still active, you're still doing things, filling your day with activities so you're still busy. So number two is exercise. Like we're allowed out of houses once a day. Is it once a day? I think we're allowed out house once a day or so. basically we're allowed out of house at least once i'm not too sure on the rules but i only go out once so no one come for me whether it's going out your house on a run a walk anything like also walking is so good just to clear your mind just to like reset everything honestly i can't explain how nice just walking is but even if you don't like walking or going out your house like i've recently bought a subscription to a like an exercise plan called fit f-i-i-t and it's so good and i'm doing it every morning basically got loads of different courses on and classes and exercise things and it's basically it's got a lot and it's really good i'm enjoying it and it's getting me busy and active and i swear everyone says exercise like releases endorphins or something to make you feel better so um, if you're like struggling for a lockdown try exercising i mean trust me the thought of exercising makes me want to know but when i've done it i feel really good after it try exercising if you haven't so the next one okay start like a business especially like, if you're on tiktok you will see the amount of homegrown businesses that are like you can start a business where it's candle making or soap making or literally like t-shirt printing anything you could start a business from home in lockdown like if you've always wanted to be your own boss or something now's the perfect time to like start planning and like creating that product wherever it is like start something new but if you want to start like a business or start earning money from something it's a great time to start it and put all, all your all into it because you've got nothing else to do so start a business the next one is learn something new so that's like like learn to cook if you've never learned to cook or like last lockdown I, I learned how to paint and draw which i really enjoyed like there's so much you can do and learn we all have youtube because otherwise you wouldn't be able to watch me now so we all have youtube so we can literally type in how to mold clay, how to paint, how to, you know what I mean? Like you can learn a new skill. So number five is practice gratitude. And that is like, so every morning or in the shower or before you go to sleep, just like remind yourself of things you're grateful for. And it can literally be as simple as, oh, I'm really grateful for this like hot shower, which is cleaning me. Or it can be, I'm really grateful for my family, my friends. Like it can be anything. Just like go through like a small three things, five things, 10 things, whatever you want, are things you're grateful for. Cause one, it kind of tells your mind you're happy, you've got a good life. Like it changes kind of your mind. Like, trust me, your mind, you can manipulate your mind to whatever you want like trust me if you want to be happy in things think happy thoughts smile and it'll make you feel better genuinely it's so weird and simple but it genuinely works like if you want to just like have a quick mood boost think of some gratitude things like be grateful for some stuff and remind yourself life's not that bad so the next one is journal and that's like journal throughout the day i mean i know if you're not doing much it will just be like today I watch Netflix. Do you know what I mean? But try and be like, oh, so today I woke up and I felt like this, but then I did that and it made me feel like this, and then I did that and that was really fun because I learned blah. Because you know what I mean? Like things like that, journaling, it gets all your thoughts out, it gets all your feelings out, and like you can literally just like see it all on paper. And then once it's out on paper, it's not up here. I and mean, you've got a clear mind, clear head. If you do it every day, it kind of unloads each day ready for a new day. And honestly, journaling is actually really fun. And you can also like journal your manifestations. Next one is meditate. And this is one that I'm sure all my subscribers know about. I love to meditate. I'm a big meditator. Meditator. I meditate every night. I mean, I recommend doing it either in the morning or at night, just because I that's the times I like to do it best. But like, you can do it anytime, really. But I think it's a great way to like calm your mind, like get in touch with your like inner body. You can like scan your body, see how you're feeling everywhere. Like, there's so many things you can do in meditation. Honestly, it does make you feel better. Oh, and I've also started yoga recently, which is kind of meditating 
in exercise. And yoga's great, I tell you now, start yoga if you haven't. Oh, but meditating is amazing. The next one is kind of a don't do, and that is like, don't watch the news 24 seven, and don't be on your phone 24 seven. Don't constantly 24 seven be scrolling through the news or watching the news, because it'll just consume you, and you just kind of need a break from that and be like, look, whoa. I think it's just best sometimes to be like, okay, that's what's going on, cool, and then move on because you don't want the news to consume you. Number nine is FaceTime your friends and family or Zoom, or basically just call them. Like, call your friends and family, talk to them, catch up with them. Like, what have they done today? What have you done today? How are they feeling? How are you feeling? Like, it's important to talk to your family. We have nothing else to do. Like, just call them, FaceTime them, or whatever. Stay in contact with your friends and your family to them. You know, you don't, you don't feel as alone. And finally, this is honestly one of my favorite ones, and it always makes me feel so good after is put on your favourite music, blast it as loud as you can, and like clean your space. If you have a whole house to yourself, clean it all. If you have a bedroom to yourself, clean it, like deep clean it. Go through the drawers, go through your wardrobe, like pull everything out, hoover everywhere, clean everywhere, and blast your music while you're doing it. It just makes everything better, it makes everyone feel good. And trust me, deep cleaning your room, after it, drawing it, it's like, oh, why did I start this? But after it, you will feel a hundred times better being in that space, trust me. And with your music on, like you don't mind doing it, because you can like dance while you're doing whatever you're doing. And it's just a good time. Honestly, I do it probably like every fortnight. It's my favourite thing to do. That is my 10 things that I try and do to stay up to date, to stay like happy, to stay positive. I hope some resonate with you and you try them out if you're in, like, in a bit of a rut. But that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit a like button, subscribe down below so you don't miss another upload from me because I upload every Thursday and every Sunday at 4pm. And I will see you this Sunday with another video. Thank you.